we already looked at the number of people who are online today. That's 4.62 billion people who are online on over six social media platforms, right? And it would not be wise for businesses to ignore social media marketing as one of their strategies when trying to reach their target audience, right? So social media marketing is a very, very significant one that is effective in today's digital era. And it basically involves you know, using social media platforms to connect with potential customers to promote their products and services. Earlier in our conversation on this call, I made mention of social um, Facebook ads, I made mention of Instagram ads. Those are examples of social media marketing, right? When you're scrolling on Instagram, you could just be scrolling to get entertained or watching the skit that you're a skit maker you're subscribed to. And the next thing you move up from his page or you're just scrolling on the timeline and you see an ad, that is a business using social media marketing to reach their target audience. Sometimes their target audience could be you. Sometimes their target audience could not be you, right? But it is only someone who is, it's only a wise digital marketer who is able to think, who is able to think intelligently to use these platforms to reach the certain target audiences that people or the businesses want to reach, right? Every business is different. Every business has a different target audience that they serve. Every business has a different target audience that they want to sell their products and their services to. So if you're a digital marketer for a particular company, or a particular brand, you have to be a very intelligent person saying that you have to make use of your intuition to be able to make your decisions and also use data as well to make your decisions. You will not just be going based on quote unquote vibes. You would have to use your intuition to think, oh, who does our brand appeal to? Who are the, who are the type of people that we're trying to reach, right? So those are the questions that you'll be asking yourself as a teacher marketer before you start to you know, use all these parameters to reach certain people. Your goal as a digital marketer is to make sure that the mediums or the channels that they're using to reach the people are consistent or aligns perfectly with the products and services of your company or your business or the business that you work for. It should not be that your business is trying to you know, target or the target audience of your business is some is Gen Z or millennials, right? Let's say the target audience for a hair brand, you're a digital marketer for the target, a digital marketer for a hair brand and their target audiences are people or ladies who are between 18 to like 25, right? If you're a digital marketer for that brand, you have to make sure that the, the campaigns that you're drafting appeal to certain people, appeal to those group of people that I just mentioned. They appeal to those age group, they appeal to the things that they search for, they appeal to things that they are conversant with, they appeal to styles that, you know, they are familiar with. You will not just, you know, set, you will not just set parameters to reach anyone. You will have to set those parameters to reach those people, those 18 to 25 year old females. You have to set those parameters to reach, you know, the locations where they are even based. Right, so that's that's really your job as a digital marketer. It's not just about using these technologies, right? But it's about using your intellect as well to say. It's about using your intellect and data as well to make decisions that benefit the brands or the products, the brands or the company that you work for. Okay, um, I hope I'm not getting ahead of myself here. Let's move to the next one. Okay, we've talked about social media marketing. Now let's talk about content marketing. Now, I really like this one because it is a very good way to build loyal customers. Or it's a very good way to even pitch people, to be able to reach people who are not even familiar with your brand or with your company or your, or your service or your product, right? Content marketing is a very, very strategic way to build a large following for, you know, you know, you build a large following for the company that you work for as a digital marketer, or to reach potential clients or potential, you know, customers that your cost, reach potential customers that your business wants to reach. Now, as a digital marketer, content marketing is something that you should not even take for granted as well. Now, what is even content marketing? Content marketing 
in my slides states that it involves creating and distributing valuable, relevant, and consistent content to attract and retain a clearly defined audience and drive profitable customer action. Now, this is very straightforward. However, this is what content marketing looks like. If you've ever gone on, if you've ever seen, um, okay, if you've ever experienced a problem, right? Let's say you are trying to um, fix an issue on your laptop, right? Let's see, um, yeah, let's use an example. Let's say you copied something to a, in an external SD card and the, the, and, the mem and the SD card got corrupted, right? That's a, that's a problem that you've just experienced. Now, to solve that problem, you would go online to search, how can I recover files from a corrupted SD card? The solution that you're looking for, right, could be a software that you would have to download and install on your laptop and use to recover those files. However, that software could be paid, that software could be free. Most times it's usually paid. But what but what people but what businesses do, right? So you've you've already, you've already experienced the problem, right? And there's a solution online to your problem. The solution to your problem is owned by a particular business. It's a software company and they've designed software, they've developed software to help people recover their files. For them to make money as a company, people have to pay for their software. It could be one time, it could be subscription. It could even be a one time payment, right? Let's say the software is $5, which is 5,000 naira, right? You who has experienced the problem and has searched for it online would come across mediums that this company has used to you know, try to reach people who would need their software. So because they already understand that people would need their software to recover their files, this company now would say, okay, we want to attract people to use our software and pay for it. Let us create different marketing content that would you know, appeal to people that would likely use our software. Who is it going to appeal to? It's going to appeal to people who have experienced you know, some sort of trouble with you know, file crashing or file losing, right? And the kind of content that they would market is content that would solve their problem on a step-by-step -step basis, right? So this company will now create a, could be a blog post. Most times it's usually a blog post. It could be a blog post on their website, right? It could be how to recover files from a corrupted SD card in 2023. When you click on the article or the blog post, it will take you to their website, right? You are on their website already. You are already, you're already in their marketing funnel, right? You're already in their marketing funnel from their website. You are reading the article. You are getting insights. You are getting information on how to solve your problem, right? And when you finish reading the article, it doesn't stop there. It stops with a call to action. The call to action is that you download the software. When you click on download, you're on the second part of their marketing funnel. You've clicked the link, right? That's a trail. You've clicked the link. When you click on download, it could even still take you to another link to download the software, or it will take you to a link where you get to pay before you use the software to recover your files. And for someone who is experiencing problems like that, you know, it's a very, very sensitive situation where you have important files you need to recover. So at that point, you are left with little or no choice to so either pay for the software or find an alternative. And most times they are really, except you're a very technical savvy person, there are really no ways to get your, you know, your files recovered if you don't pay for that software, except you are going to like, you know, pirated websites to download you know, an alternative software or that same software, right? So you who is in that situation would have to now pay for the products, right? So they've attracted you through content marketing. They've attracted you by creating valuable content and value is valuable because you are in that situation where you have to solve your problem. So that solution is valuable to you. So they've been able to attract you through an article, right? They've been able to attract you through an article that would solve your problem. Do you understand? So that's valuable content right there. 
the company has done due diligence to you know find out you know what people are searching for find out how people are even resolving these solutions to this particular you know problem and they've created an article to solve your problem step by step so they've created valuable content right so they're now distributing the valuable content through google search that's distribution now distribution of the content could be through social media as well if they want to get larger distribution as a company as using the same software company right if they want to get a larger distribution they would optimize different valuable content on different platforms they would create content on how that problem can be solved on instagram let's say they use an instagram carousel or they use an instagram video right someone is talking about how this problem can be solved in an instagram video right they could use a twitter thread they could make a thread on twitter on how you can solve this particular problem that is creating valuable content and that is you know more distribution for them because now they're leveraging twitter they're leveraging instagram they could do the same thing on facebook create a post on facebook on how this problem can be solved someone who is experiencing that problem or someone who has experienced it before yeah someone who's experiencing that problem would click on it and it will be redirected to their website so their main conversion um destination here is their websites they want people to come to their websites but if but people would might not just come across their websites right because if they've not optimized their websites through search engine optimization for their websites to rank higher than others in the google search people will not discover them so they have to also focus on distribution through different platforms like social media through yeah different platforms like different social media platforms right so they have to first create valuable content and when they create valuable content their content you know gets is distributed on their various social media platforms and people who have those problems get to interact with their posts get to interact with the content and then proceed with how you know they can get to the solution or how that they can solve their problem through the software so they read the post they read the article they read they watch the video it doesn't stop there for them the goal is for them to convert you know more traffic on their website could be right the goal for the companies for the software company to be they want to increase traffic on their website their goal could also be they want to increase more conversions in terms of sales how many people come to the website and actually you know pay for the software you know their goal could be even um just uh, engagement generates a lot of buzz on online right these are three goals that i've mentioned right now so we have to really understand how how important content marketing is it's about creating valuable content and distributing this valuable content you know to relevant to to audiences who are likely to experience or find this content to be valuable to solve their problems yeah to solve their problems and uh, you know you can't you can't just do it once it has to be something that is consistent and it has to be something that can retain you know those people who are searching for it so if i'm in that situation that i just gave like an example now if i'm able to download their software and use it and it solves my problem i'm not going to leave that i'm not going to leave that um website alone i'm definitely going to bookmark the website in case i experience it later or in case someone in my network experiences it later, so i can send to that person i can send the link to that person right or i follow them on their social media platforms this way they are able to retain me as a customer or retain me as a user of their product that is one product that they've been able to sell to me and i've been able to use right they might have other products that are you know that other products that could solve other problems that I might experience. Do you understand? So it's really about creating valuable content, distributing the valuable content, and making this thing consistent. Not just consistent, but being able to make sure that your content retains them, retains this target audience that you're trying to sell your products and your services to. The goal of every marketing campaign is to make sure that it converts. What is it converting to? it has to convert to sales it has to you know convert to engagement it has to convert to certain goals that the company has do you understand and that is that is very that is very elaborate you know um 
definition or de breakdown of, of of content marketing. And I'm sure that with this example and all the things that I've said, you know, you already have a very good understanding of what content marketing entails.